Too I was well. thinking we could call this a uh, hobby breakfast show in the cantina. Exactly. And then we can just blast that out and get copyrights. <laughs> it just gets continually louder throughout the episode <laughs> until it's just it. completely deafening. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we're we're in space. Uh, I say we're not technically in space. We're we're on Tatooine. There we go. In a cantina, a hive of scum villainy. villainy. <laughs> oh, um, oh, and look, we're talking about Star Wars Legion. Um. It's me, on odds, and we also have OT. Hello. Oh, you missed an opportunity there. To to, to do what? Say hello there. <laughs> <laughs> re-record, re-record. <laughs> oh, yes, um, Mayor's not with us. He will be in future episodes, uh, but he already plays Legion. <laughs> <The laughs> and knows what he's power. talking about. <laughs> yeah, the fucking hefty power gamer. Um, because Mare plays every game in, yeah. uh, at some level. Yeah. Any game you care to mention, he will yeah. probably have a box set. It may or may not yeah. be built. Yeah. Um, but it will be meta defining. Yeah, he would have chosen the best faction. <laughs> I can't wait for him to be triggered listening to this. Uh, we, though, <laughs> however, are um, fresh, Idiots. fresh noobs. <laughs> yeah. More accurate. Fresh noobs to the uh, Star Wars Legion. Um, sphere uh so we are going to be discussing our plans um we're going to be having a go at list, at list building, building. <laughs> just to kind of show everyone um what what we're thinking um it probably won't be a massively long episode uh you will be able to look and see whether i was lying about that <laughs> <laughs> it's like a two-hour episode and everyone's like what the fuck's he on about um, but we, we've already bought a little bit and we're just going to kind of talk about our thoughts going in and then we will be back in future with more Legion content. Probably not as regular as the Middle Earth content, but um, probably more regular than the Boris and Badgers content. Badgers content. Well, it's hard for it to be less regular. <laughs> yeah, it will be more than the quarterly release of <laughs> Boris and Badgers. Um, good, we'll be back in a moment because I need to set the screen cap. Oh, and we're back and look... I'm on Legion HQ, a uh, list building tool for Legion, which is very good actually. Uh, it turns out Legion is um, way easier to um, yeah. access rules for than any Games Workshop game. I don't know why I'm surprised because I think yeah. Games Workshop might be the least accessible form of rules yeah. around, unless you um, go on a website which gives you the rules which Games Workshop don't host. Um, such as uh, Wahapedia, which is hosted in Russia. <laughs> Nothing dodgy about that. <laughs> um, yeah. <laughs> so I, I've also got the rule book because um, you can get it as a free PDF. And I've also got the skirmish rules here because uh, we are going to be starting out with skirmish. That's the plan. Yeah. Because um, skirmish is like a slightly smaller uh, game mode. So you can the standard apparently is eight hundred points. Yeah, uh, you can play one thousand six hundred called Grand Army. Jesus, there's work. then three things on Legion HQ called Storm Tide, which I have no idea what the fuck that is. So we're, gonna, <laughs> that we're gonna just gonna pretend um, that doesn't exist. Yeah, but we're gonna go up to the lovely little skirmish five hundred points. Um, it slightly changes the um. Uh, what you need, so you need less uh, troops choices. They're probably not called troops, are they? They're called core. Core. Corps. Corps. I think I think I'm pretty sure it's pronounced core, but we'll go. Uh, no, no, I, I actually know quite a lot about the English language, and it's corpse. <laughs> Just to trigger people, say corpse. <laughs> um, yeah, 
And as you can see, there are currently five factions, although there are sub-factions which we've been calling Legendary Legions because we're just stuck in a bit of a <laughs> But they're actually called it's... Battle Tool... Forces. Yes, Battle... let's say that. Yeah. I think, I think they're called Battle Forces. I'm pretty sure. Um, yeah, so the anyone who's familiar with Star Wars is probably familiar with the uh, names that are currently on the screen. Shadow Collective, maybe not. That one's more kind of in the um, in the uh, wider universe. I suppose it was in the Solo story uh, movie, but no one watched that, so no. my point still stands. Um, you are collecting what, OT? Um, I'm going to go for the Rebellion, and I'm going to theme it around... Um... Endor, um, specifically with the the Ewoks and Wicket. Um, I, I, unfortunately, because the Ewoks aren't out yet um, and actually won't be out for like another two and a half months, probably. Yeah, um, July, I think. Not too far yeah, away. Though. Not too far away. Um, I am going to probably do a slightly different army first, but then probably loop around. And I'm basically buying stuff that I could then put into an Endor army, essentially. Yeah, and we do actually have some rules. So in in front, I've just selected Wicket for seventy points. There we points. go. But um, as he does a lot. He does a lot of stuff for seventy points. He's got a lot of keywords on his card. And if we go over to Corpse, um, <laughs> you can also select Ewok skirmishers. Um, oh, they're beautiful. They don't. You can't get any of their upgrades or anything. Apparently, they're going to have like a heavy weapon axe guy, maybe, and like a slinger. But um, not they, quite they sure. look they look like absolute garbage. But they yeah, do have yeah. they do have upgrade slots for yes. a weapon choice. So they are going to come with something, aren't they? Yeah. Um, how are their spears? A black dice. Yeah. Well, I mean, Wicket is two red and a black with Pierce one, like. Jeez. He's doing some damage. Black black dice is better than a white dice, right? Yeah, white is worse than black than red. Red, okay. Jeez, they're actually they're, they're actually <laughs> they're quite lethal at closer age. Yeah, I was going to say because you get eight in a squad, they're actually going to be yeah. um, as good as Wookies in close range. They don't have all of the uh, like buffs, but no. in terms of just raw dice. Um, yeah. Well, there we go. Well, um, let's select skirmish then, and um, I'll, I'll make I'll title it. OT is a. Are we doing mine first? Yeah. OT is, a pleb, is what your army's being called. <laughs> okay. Corpse. Um, corpse. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll put in brackets corpse. Fantastic. Corpse. You can't spell pleb without corpse. Corpse. Right. Um, what have you bought so far then? Talk us through. Uh, I, bought, I bought a lot of stuff. Um, so I've got Chewie and Han, because that was originally what I was going to do. Um, and then I've also bought Luke Skywalker, because apparently he's really right. good. He won't go in my force for Skirmish, I don't think. I think he's a bit too expensive. Like, he, after upgrades, he's going to be like 230 points, which is probably a bit much. Is Luke Skywalker 160 points base? Uh, for the Commander, yes. Not for the... Um... Are you taking a different one? I would take the, oh, what are they called? Um, not the commanders. Operatives. Oh, right. Operative. You, you're uh, taking operative. the big 200. Druid, oh, no, he's yes. One, he's 195, sorry. He's been 195, there. but yeah, with upgrades, 230. Jeez, um, uh, lightsaber. Yeah, I know. And also, <laughs> you, could give, you could give him saber throw, which then does four black as yeah, a ranged attack, good. which is insane. Um, he's really good. Um, but yeah. The only problem is, um, I think actually, if I wanted to run it in a really themey way, I'd have to prioritize getting Leia and Wicket in over Han and Chewie, and then suddenly I would be spending like four hundred points on heroes um, for a skirmish list. Yeah, which, I think which probably that, probably doesn't work. I think that the because um, there's going to be a battle force for Endor. Yeah, and I think that that is going to be focused on Wicket, Leia, and C three PO, isn't it? Yeah, and Chewy in the ATST. Yeah, so that will mean Chewy goes into a heavy unit slot, presumably. Yes. Yeah. I guess the benefit of for you is that you'll be able to basically run two armies, won't you, with the yes. either yeah. a Rebels Force or the um, yeah, w Wicket Legion thing. Mm. Um, yeah. So shall we? Should we build a standard 500 point list then? Um, yes. We're currently working on pre Ewok. So is Han the commander? 
I think Han's going to have to be the commander because I've bought him. So yeah, that doesn't doesn't feel like strictly yeah. themey, but I think it is probably the best way to go. So there he is, hundred points. Yeah, Mr. Han Solo. Um, mm. just, I think it might be worth um, discussing very quickly because I imagine a lot of our viewers may not have played this before. Um, the the unit cards at first look confusing, mm-hmm. um, but actually Legion's relatively straightforward once you um, uh, kind of just look into a bit. Basically, all yeah. these little symbols refer to a color of dice, mm-hmm. and the dice basically have their custom dice. Um, a lot of them are eight-sided, but there are some six-sided ones as well. And yeah. depending on color, it alters the amount of sides which have a specific sort of um, result on, I guess. Yeah. So mm-hmm. it, broadly speaking, white dice are your least efficient. They're the most likely to give you nothing. Uh, blank mm-hmm. dice are a little bit better, and then red dice are the best. I believe is the um, way around it is. Yeah, and it's that's the same for attack and defense. You only get white and red on defense. Um, yeah. But yeah, you're attack dice. Sir. And then as we can see with hands, he has like special rules where certain dice results he treats as other dice results. Just yes. To kind of help manipulate the um, odds yes. on heroes and certain units, yeah. um, and then health, um, what he rolls for defense, the yellow one I have forgotten. That is courage. Courage. There we go. So uh, two is actually quite low courage for a hero. Like that's because there are some basic um, troops that are courage two. So actually, like courage two isn't brilliant for a hero. And I believe Darth Vader doesn't have to take... Uh, he's he's flat any. courage, so yeah, yeah, he always passes. And then Han is move two, which is these little things down. Red things at the bottom, yeah. Um, and then this over on the left is what he can take as upgrades, because you can mm-hmm. customize quite a lot. Yeah. Um, and then these are his additional rules. And that that's pretty much um, how all of the cards work. And I think actually once you go through it, it's fairly, fairly straightforward. Yep. It's just a little bit intimidating at first, uh, I thought. For sure. Um, yeah, no, I'd agree. Should we have a look at what Han Solo can take then? So these are his equipable upgrades. Got, got quite a few. Are you taking yeah. anything? Uh, yeah, so with Han, um, I'm going to start so uh, with improvised orders, which um, basically lets you kind of manipulate your order a token pool so uh, we'll probably talk about this more later but um essentially you can give orders to certain units and this basically mm-hmm. gives you more control over how you do your orders so that's that seems really good yep Very um easy. then the second thing i'm going to take is it's kind of a choice between either duck and cover um which basically would give you um more dodged more defensive tokens um if you were being shot at Mm -hmm. or i'm going to take i might take up close and personal because um i think with the way han is worded uh with up close and personal every time you performed a ranged attack at one to two you can gain a dodge token because han has gunslinger he can perform two ranged attacks per turn so i think that means you would be able to gain two dodge tokens rather than just the one you would normally get for doing one ranged attack so that seems Uh, really good with him i think so and as yeah, people, seemed... people can probably start to tell there's an element of kind of deck building to this where you can yeah. kind of make these nifty little combos. Yeah. Um, and then I'm probably just going to take uh, Recon Intel with him as well, or possibly Portable Scanner. Um, basically, Recon Intel, after you deploy, it lets you just move around. And it's really important for Han because he's a little bit squishy. You know, he's only got six health. And he rolls that white defense die, even though it does have the defensive surge, which you can see on the right-hand side to improve it a bit. It basically becomes like a five-up save. Um, And that's not that good um, when you've only got six health. So it's really important he's in cover and getting the dodge tokens, which help reduce the damage you're taking. Yeah. So I'll put on recon intel for now. Yeah. Yeah. And I will put on... Should I put on duck and cover? Or I think up close and personal is probably... Yeah, I think it's more expensive, but I think it's probably worth the upgrade um, for those extra dodge tokens. We'll, we'll see where you come in. So we've got your... Um, I want to say hero, but it's commander. 
Commander. Yep. Now you're operative. So are you yeah. including Chewy at 500? Or are you uh, it's it, it's going to have to be Chewy, I think, isn't it? They've got such good synergy together. So we um, have to Chewy's card. We'll see a yep. whopping nine health. In health. He's a chunky he, boy. He's also good in combat. Yeah. Wow. And ranged. Like his his Not range stuff combat. really yeah. good. The bowcaster is good. Um, yeah. Yeah, and he, he has some uh, good. Yeah. Good rules as well. And this yeah. one, this is the one that you want to exploit. Teamwork Han Solo. Yeah. While you're at range one to two of Han Solo, when you're a Han Solo game, an aim or dodge token, the other unit gains a token same type, which is what you're going to exploit with. Wait. Yeah. Uh, some personal. Some personal. So that's effectively four dodge token per turn. And the other really nice thing about Chewy, uh, he's got Guardian 3, which uh, basically means if you're within range one, which I think is around six inches um, of another unit, um, you can basically take wounds as if you were them and then roll your defense die. And because Chewie's got so much more health and he would also be maybe getting a few more dodge tokens, I could like manipulate that damage away from either my trooper units or from Han and take them onto Chewie. Because yeah. as you can spot at the top, um, Chewie also has Enrage 4. So if he's taken those four wounds, um, he gets a pretty nice bonus of that flat courage and getting that charge keyword as well. And charge keyword's really good. We'll be yeah. talking about that more when we get onto my army. Uh, any yeah. upgrades on Chewie then? Uh, yeah, so in line with the tokens crap I'm going to try to exploit, um, I'm thinking of taking ta um, Offensive Push, um, which basically means after you, you perform a standard move, you get an aim token, and you can probably guess that that would also then transfer across to Han as well. Um, yeah. And I think with Han, because his dice are really high quality, like he gets two red dice with PS2 um, on the attack, which is really good. Um, you basically want to take maximum advantage of those two attacking dice. Yeah. Um, then I'm. Seconds. Yeah, I'm not sure. Like, I'm tempted to take tenacity just because he's got so much health. Like, I think it's so likely he'll take one wound and then getting an extra red dice to go up to five red dice when he's in combat would be pretty nice. Um, yeah, so I'm tempted to put tenacity on him. Um, I'll take it on him for now, shall I? Yeah. Uh, and then the final thing, I'm definitely giving him targeting scopes. Um, so basically um, what targeting scopes does, normally if you spend an aim token, you can reroll two dice uh, when you're attacking. And I think this also applies to melee as well. I think you can aim a melee attack. Um, but basically what it lets you do is with targeting scopes, you would reroll three dice rather than just two. And with Chewie's four dice on his bowcaster, that seems really good. Yep. So we've got those in. So that's... Yep pretty good 221 points already spent yeah yeah sounds expensive when we get onto my army i have to spend that <laughs> on one character <laughs> <laughs> but i mean that's just luke skywalker as well like yeah, it's pretty true. nuts yeah. yeah um let's move on to corpse corpse <laughs> <laughs> so um you have the options uh, of there are two uh merc units pike syndicate foot soldiers and ewoks yeah but then yeah. the Rebels' main choices are Fleet Troopers, Rebel Troopers, and Rebel Veterans. And yeah. what is it that you are going to be So I bought a box of the Veterans. Um, it was basically a choice between them and the basic Troopers. Uh, it basically came down to the fact that the uh, Veterans can take uh, a couple of nice upgrades. And they also get a, I think it's a defensive surge when the Rebel Troopers only get, um, oh no, they get an attacking surge as well. Um, so yeah, they get a bit, a few nicer dice, and they also get the coordinate emplacement trooper, which I'm going to take advantage of as well. So basically, what that lets you do is, after they've been issued an order, they can then also order an additional unit, so you can kind of like chain it down the line to get multiple activations. So are you taking the Mark II medium blaster trooper? I am taking the Mark II medium blaster trooper. Um, it's quite yeah. nice. That gives you your two corpse units. It well. does, it does. Yeah. Um, and I'll be taking, uh, on the veterans, I'm going to take, I'm tempted to take the additional CM093 trooper just for like an extra four white dice, um, which seems quite nice. And getting some surges to go up to crits seems pretty good as well. Because, um, yeah, I'm going to be quite low on numbers, I think, in this army, relatively speaking. So I think I'll drop those in. Yeah. Um, upgrades for them. You, it, I've never obviously I've never played the game. It sounds 
supposedly like uh, situational awareness is really good um, because in this army I'm going to be get churning out a lot of dodge tokens. Um, if you are able to get that outmaneuver, spend the dodge tokens to cancel crit results as well. That seems quite good, so I might put that on them. Um, I'll stick it on them for now. Are yeah. you taking the extra trooper as well, or are you just sticking? No, it doesn't quite fit in in the points, unfortunately. I might move a couple of things around, um, to try and fit them in, but um, yeah, I think I'm going to need all the points I can get in this army, unfortunately. Any other upgrades on the veterans? I think I'll put recon intel on them as well, because again, I want them to be in good cover, and it'd be good, I think, to try and yeah react to what other people are doing and nice. Not take and too much damage. Game. Any equipable upgrades? Um, no, they're not getting any like grenades or anything like that. Okay. I might try and fit them in if they get points. Concussion right. grenades are supposed to be quite good. Are you going to upgrade the medium blaster troop? Uh, yes, I'm putting a linked targeting array on him. So um, after, basically that means after they get order, they get name token, which means hopefully because they're getting an order from the other troopers, every turn they'll be getting a name token, which lets them re-roll two of those dice. Nice. Um, and if they're, yeah, if they're whacking out four black dice a turn at that three range, that seems pretty nice. Nice. So at this point, you've got a legal skirmish force because you just need yeah. one commander and two corps. Yeah. So what is the remaining 156 points going to be spent on is it ewoks uh not entirely ewoks uh it will be some ewoks now the slight difficulty with ewoks is unfortunately at the moment um we don't have what their upgrades are going to be yeah. um so for now i'm just going to put in one like holding unit of ewoks with tenacity as an upgrade um because i think that'd be really good for them if you're trying to get them into melee um and again adding a red dice with Pierce, uh, no, not with Pierce, but a red dice to that that dice pool would be really good. Yep. Um, and then if I can fit them in, I want a uh, Rebel Commando Strike Team, which is not in Corpse, is in, I think, Specialist Unit or something. I can't remember what they're called. Um, and I'm going to put a Sniper on them. <laughs> nice. So that's 438. Are you putting any other options on them? Um, so th I'm saving the remaining points for either an additional Ewok unit or upgrades on the Ewoks and others. So on the Rebel Commando uh, strike team, I'm obviously giving them the Sniper. I'd probably put Overwatch on them. Okay. Um, gives them a bit longer range on that um, Sentinel thing, which is the current Overwatch. I think I might also give them long range comlink, um, just because I'm imagining I'm have I'll have these snipers quite a long way from my main force, and if that means they can be issued an order all the way across the map, I think that'd be quite powerful. Yeah. Uh, uh, and leaving fifty points roughly for any Ewoks or stuff. In Ewoks. Um, I'd also put targeting scopes on the commandos, I think, um, and yeah, just for that additional reroll, and yeah. That would that would sort it out, I think. Nice. Looks pretty solid. Yeah. And obviously the Ewoks are gonna give you quite a big chunky unit. Yeah. Because they start with six guys and they can go to the Yeah. Game. So Yeah. I'm really excited to see what the specialists are for them. Like I really hope they get like a nutty Ewok with uh, like I was saying, I think there was uh, there was like an Ewok with a, uh, like a psycho Ewok. Um <laughs> Because, yeah, be, I think it could be really cool. The only slight problem is, uh, as much as I would like to put two Ewok units in, they are flipping expensive. Like, I'm not sure I want to be buying multiple units of Ewoks until I know actually what's in them. So, yeah, I'm only going to pre-order um, one box, I think. And presumably you're getting Wicket and the other guy. Yes. Yeah, and they'll go in if I make a bigger force. Or, to be honest, I might then put them in in a sort of different version of this where it focuses instead around, like, Leia and Wicket rather than Han and Chewie. Yeah, and then you combine both to make the 800, which is quite nice. Yeah. Cool. Yep. Right, let's very quickly have a look at the commander. Mm. So you get to pick six commands cards, which kind of make up your deck. I assume yep. in Skirmish you do as well. Does it say to limit it down to five? No, I'm not sure it says actually, does it? No, I don't think it says. So I assume you still pick up six. So um, 
Are you going for the the Han ones, or are you going for the Chewy ones? I I think I can go for a mixture of the two, so yeah. um, that's what I'm going to end up doing. Um, it is a little bit of an issue with Han and Chewy in that their command cards are not that good. Um, like they're fine, um, but they're yeah they're nothing particularly special. Um, and specifically, if you look at Chewie's cards, they really specifically focus on like the three characters. So this is partly why I wanted uh, it works maybe better at higher points levels. Yeah. Um, but yeah, and like Han's cards aren't great, I don't think. Um, but yeah, um, so I'm going to start with Sorry About the Mess, which I think is quite cool. It basically always means that Han goes first, um, which is quite cool. Um, and he uh, gains an aim and a dodge token, um, which is quite nice. And again, that will transfer over to Chewie as well. So it's actually two aim tokens, two dodge tokens. Yeah, that's nice. Um, and then I do kind of, I think I have to put it in because it's it's kind of themey. Uh, Notorious Scoundrels, choose one of hand solo, Solo's com command cards in your discard pile, return that card to your hand. So hopefully what that means is if I use one of hands like quite good cards, I could shuffle it back in using this from Chewy. Unfortunately, this is three pips, so it is a bit slower, but maybe sometimes that's an advantage. So you can wait and see what your opponent does. You have um, to take a three pip anyway. So. Yeah, you have to take some three pips. Um, yeah, and then I think I'll also put in a change of plans, which seems quite fun. Basically, it... Um, it, it orders Han and two units, which is pretty nice. Um, and also what it does is it effectively bounces your opponent's card back to their hands and makes them choose another one. Um, so it's like an opportunity to mess with what they were going to do, um, which is quite fun. Um, mm -hmm. I think this card is good if you know what you're doing in the game. I think if you don't, it's possibly not brilliant. Um, yeah, and then I think, because I'm a bit low on two pip options, like there's no point taking um, Brains and Brawn because I don't have Layer in the list. And I think Reckless Diversion's kind of bad. Um, I don't really understand why you would want to use it because I feel like um, it's just an enemy unit would just shoot one of your guys unless maybe it, you force them to shoot at one of their own units if you like really planned ahead. Um, but yeah, I don't really understand that one. So I'm going to put in um, push at two pips as well. Um, and I don't really know what else. Because I don't have any mercenary units for aggression. And I don't have any heavy O2 support units. You need another one pip, I think. Yeah. Um, so that will be, what do you reckon, sabotage communications? It's either that or ambush, I think. I feel like I don't have any... ambush with the Ewoks would be quite useful. So one pip and activate it and ordering one unit. Yeah. Mm. You can only shoot one order with that card. Yeah. And that would let me order Chewie or Han, I guess, as my commanders with sabotage communications. I think I'm going to put in Sabotage Communications just because it might do something else. Nice. And it's then a choice between Reckless Diversion, Turning the Tide. What's a support unit? Uh, the support unit is... Oh. You don't have it. It would be... I don't like have any, an yeah. ATRC, Laser Cannon, yeah. Sweet Bike Rider, or Taunt Taunt Rider. Taunt Riders. Okay, so I don't have any of those. So in that case, it's going to have to be... You're going to have to take the... Uh, or the reckless, reckless diversion. diversion. Oh, no. <laughs> I don't think that's very good. I think the reason why Reckless Diversion is useful is so that they can't target Han. Maybe. But then sometimes so, it's not that problematic because you might have dodge tokens. But yeah, I guess so. But I think like if, if they're targeting something you don't want to die, you can force yeah. them to target. Yeah. So, the, the yeah. red shirts, the chunk. Yeah. yeah, it's true. Okay, yeah, so Reckless Diversion. So, so far we've got Sabotage Communications, Sorry About the Mess, Reckless Diversion, Push, Change of Plans, Notorious Scoundrels, and then Standing Orders, which you have to take. Yeah, and that is your command deck. 
It is. There we go. Not super convinced by that, but it's fine. I mean, there's some there's some nifty stuff in there. It's, there it's is. an interesting mechanic because you have to choose whether you want to go first or whether you want the better rules or yeah. play them in a mm. certain order. You can come up with combos. So it, it yeah. is interesting. Um, yeah. Mm. So there we go. That's the Rebel Force at 500 points that you were going to be taking. Mm-hmm. Um, let's go have a look at what I'm going to be taking. Oh, and we're back. Look. And I am going to be taking a... Galactic Republic Force. Um, as we by our uh, viewers, actually, because I yeah. was caught in two Famously lines. indecisive. Yeah, I'm very indecisive. Um, but we're going to be taking this little green guy, Yoda. Oh my goodness, look at him. And he's already 200 <laughs> points of my Good list. Point. Jesus Christ. And yeah. um, essentially, if you're taking a Force user, you have to take upgrades because otherwise you're paying yeah. Points for um, a decent model, but massively mm. overpointed. Um, and there's a lot of choice. Um, yeah. Now, because Yoda, if we have a look, he is mm. decent in combat for red and yeah. in two PS2. But there, there are definitely um, force users out there who can do a little bit more damage. Um, mm. He does, however, get four black on um, his sort of uh, range attack. Which is nice. Yeah. That means he doesn't need to bother taking a lightsaber throw. I guess you could because two red dice may work out at being decent, but I don't yeah. think let them fall black. It's probably overkill, isn't it? Yeah. The the main downside with Yoda is he is a little bit less healthy than yeah. your healthy. <laughs> yeah. He is very old. He is very old. But he does have a red defense dice, which is nice. Yeah. Um, and he has some quite nice rules. We won't really get into them too much. Um, Master of the Force, though, too, is what we're going to be looking at, because that is going to allow him to reset two Force cards. To, yeah. Which is handy. So if we have mm. a look, and these all cost points, um, there's a lot of choice. Mm. I think there are some ones which, to me, stand out, though, especially of what I'm going to be teaming him up with. So Force yeah. Barrier is going to be my first choice. Um Another yep. friendly trooper unit at range one is defending against range attack, and you can uh, cancel one. I think that's a crit, isn't it? Or that's a crit three, or two normal hits. Two normals. Um, spoilers: I'm going to be taking Wookies, so I'm going to be taking that to help defend against yeah. the Wookies, or mm. to help defend the Wookies rather. Um, yes. Beyond that, this is where things get a little uh, more tricky. Now, I'm personally going to be taking Force Push. Yep. Because I think that you can uh, move them around. Now, the reason mm. I think you're taking these is because um, I could. It doesn't say you actually have to move them away, right? No, you just have, you. They perform a speed one move in so any direction. I, I'm thinking you can either drag them in so that the Wookiees can then charge in. Yeah. Or you push someone away who's got too close. It gives you an element of control, basically. That's, I think that's a good choice. It's super useful. The third choice, now this is the one where I'm not 100% sure. Um, Yeah. I think I've ruled out Burst of Speed. Mm -hmm. Um, I may take Battle Meditation just because it enables me to choose the order a bit more. I Mm. think that will become more useful at higher points, though. Points. Yeah, I agree. I think at this 500 point of my list, it's not going to be as useful. Really, I think I need to play around and experiment a little bit with these to see which one's useful. Um, Mm -hmm. I might just take Force Reflexes for a dodge. I think, especially because it's a free action as well. Like, And because he's Master of the Force 2, you could untap it at the end of each turn. I think that'd be really good. Yeah. So we'll take Force Reflexes for now, and it's only five points. And then, finally, uh, you get an equipable upgrade card. Um... Yeah. I'm not sure about this one. <laughs> I really have no idea. Um Yeah. I'll come back to that because I, I have not exactly decided what's going to be useful. Um we mm. will go to uh special forces before we do cause because I am gonna be taking Wookiee Warriors. 
Yeah. There are two choices. Um, there are the Kashyyyk defenders or the just regular ones. I personally like the regular ones more. Okay. Um, Why is that? So they have better combat and they have charge. Mm -hmm. uh, I just think that's more useful. I also don't really know that I rate scale that much as a special rule. It really depends how much terrain you've got, doesn't it? And as both of them get scale, it seems like Kashyyyk, you're getting like scale and like that's replacing duelist because they get sharpshooter. But I feel like duelist and charge is a better combination than just sharpshooter. Mm. What they're upgrades can they both take? They're also a little bit cheaper. Well, the Wookiee Warriors um, get slightly better ranged upgrades, but that's not a problem because okay. I will be going melee with these guys. Nice. I am taking the Battle Shield, the Wookiee Battle Shield for 26 points. Perfect. And the great thing about this is, is you choose at the start of the battle whether you're going to take it in offensive form, which gives you two red mm. dice, or defensive form with two black dice. And with I armor think, one. I think that's pretty useful. Yeah. Um, for my equipable upgrade, uh, I'm taking tenacity. Nice. Yeah, I, that's really. I, I think I, it's a really good choice. I think it makes sense. Um, yeah. Obviously, you have to lose one Wookiee for it to kick in, but I think that yeah. getting a little bit extra very useful. Um, and in terms of the second upgrade, I have not hundred percent decided whether or not I am going to. Equip a second upgrade. I'm caught in two mines. Trouble is, a lot of my units are very expensive, and I'm yeah. super where I'm at three two six, without really necessarily um, having a legal force yet. We will come back. Um, mm. I'm going to be taking phase two clone troopers for my uh, corpse. <laughs> I I did toy around with phase one. Phase one. Um. You are paying eight points more to get basically one special rule, reliable, and a slightly different choice of upgrades. Um, yeah. I I just think phase two are a little bit better, and also um, they are accurate to the, the law. Yeah. I am a sucker. Um, I will be taking on the squads the Z Z six. Phase two trooper. Phase two trooper, just to get the white dice spam. Um, yeah. I like the mortar troopers. Mm -hmm. For skirmish force, I am a bit concerned that with a smaller board, not being able to shoot at people within one I limits a them a bit. And yeah. cumbersome limits them a bit. I, yeah. I think that I've got to run it as like a big blob that moves with Yoda. So I think yeah, yeah. Yeah. mobility is uh, more useful. Mm. Um, are you going to take an additional trooper yeah I'm not sure about this um, I think it makes sense uh, but I don't think I actually have the point because <laughs> I think to take two phase 2 clone troopers with the Z6 upgrade if I just add mm. I'm at exactly 500 and this I think nice. is the issue um Yoda is so expensive. Expensive. Uh, and I want to equip upgrades on all my units that I'm not, I didn't get any real, well, I want to equip weapons on my units rather with the extra dude. Mm. I don't really get many upgrade choices. So essentially, yeah. I'm at 500. The only upgrades I have been able to place is tenacity on the Wookiees and the three, four thousand Yoda. Mm. I, think it, I think it's okay. Yeah. Um, mainly because I get really good command card choices. You really do. Um, and I think this is why Yoda's so expensive. Yoda's commands, cards are insane. They look really good. Um, yeah. He also has this mechanic where he can return cards to his hand. So nice. if you have yeah, them, yeah, and you can just like cycle them through, can't you? Yeah, size size matters not. If there is no try in your discard pile, which is his two pip you may return this to your hand which almost means that yoda doesn't actually need to use the other ones if he doesn't want to yeah but you probably are going to want to because there's some nice ones out there so i'm going to be taking all three of yodas so this one yoda gains jump one charge disengage and treats his maximum speed as three 
really nice. Yep. If you just have a look at Yoda, he doesn't have charge. So no. giving him this on that turn where you are going to yeet him in with the Wookiees, they both get charge, which means they both get the free melee attack action. Super useful. And giving him speed three as well. Like he is mm. just going to, like the opponent is going to have to be wary of it. And I also like the fact that I'm essentially going to be able to use this two times a game because I can nice. return it. So that, that goes straight in. His next one, there is no try. When Yoda issues an order to a troop unit, it gains outmaneuver relentless on dodge token. Great. Yeah. Yeah. Um, probably going to be going on the Wookiees. Um, mm -hmm. So there we go. Uh, and then his three pip, luminous beings are we. Yoda gains two aim, two dodge, and two surge token. He cannot attack. Not attack. For any units that range one to three can spend Yoda's green tokens. Yeah. So he basically can um, buff everyone buff. two yep. In range. tokens. Useful. Um, I think mainly this one's useful, though, because it returns if si um, size matters not to your hand. Yeah, and then you can just keep cycling it through. Yeah. Um, from that point, then, I can basically take one of each. Um, I'm probably going to take one of the Wookiee ones. Really? I haven't decided which one. Well, my thinking is, is it's quite an elite force, and the Wookiees are quite powerful. Mm. And if I'm going to be upgrading them so that they have uh, Relentless, uh, not Relentless, Tenacity and a Battle Shield, mm. I think I just need to hard commit. But it seems like the Wookiee ones only proc off Wookiee Commanders. Oh, do you have to have the Wookiee Commander? Damn it! Yeah, is issued by a Commander yeah, Wookiee Trooper you're right. unit. You're right, I misread it. Because I was thinking Grrrr would be really yeah. good, because it's one of them. It really would. Right. Yeah. yeah. In my mind, when I read Trooper, I think Corpse Unit, but you're right. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so I can't take that one. Okay, that ruins that plan. Ignore. Cut. Cut that. <laughs> cut that. I won't cut it, I'll just leave in my knavish <laughs> mistakes. <laughs> Look. Um, okay, so ambush, synchronized, offensive, and ploy. Can't use ploy, don't have a mercenary unit. Can't use synchronize, offensive, because you don't have any vehicle. Offensive. So ambush it is. Ambush it is. <laughs> Excellent. Uh, two pip. Push or air support. Can't use air support. Can't use air support. Push it is. Um, attack the clones. I could take that one. Do you have three clone troopers? No, I only got two. But presumably that means a max of three, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Or yeah. just assault to order three units. I mean, that was basically my whole army. Yeah. <laughs> I think I'd take assault. This is why, yeah. though, um, I will probably be just using Yoda's and Reese. Yes, I agree. Them. I agree. Yeah. Um... I think for 800, I am tempted to take a uh, Wookiee Commander. Though. Like, yeah. oh, it's so expensive. Wookiee, Wookiee Chieftain. You can take the Wookiee Chieftain, or you can take Chewbacca. 10 points. Yeah. And obviously Chewie with um, Guardians quite useful with Yoda. Mm. Oh, he's, he's slightly different, isn't he, in this one? He's got less yeah. Guardian, but yeah. two Surge Tokens is pretty crazy. He he he's good. Mm. Um, it, it, I almost feel like if you're taking Yoda, he's so expensive. You just have to kind of commit. So I was thinking it, it's maybe even though Chewie's is very good, worth just taking another big squad of Wookies for a hundred yeah. points. Yeah, uh, when you go up points. But yeah, as, as you can see, I am quite limited. To do um, mm. the only option I really have to increase upgrades is to rather than taking the Z6 trooper to cut him and just take a regular trooper because mm. that would save me um, if we have a look at the uh, clone trooper 13 points so it you, could do, you can do both if you want to save no. me four, 14 points on the Z6 mm. and then I could spend 14 yeah. points on upgrade tokens um, mm. I don't know whether that's better yet I think I need no. to play some games to work out whether that is a, a mm. good choice 
Um, so you might find that the Z6 gets dropped in one unit and the other unit just has the regular guy. And then I mm -hmm. can put some upgrade cards on the clones. Yeah. Yeah, that's the list. I think basically I just got to hope that Yoda can single handedly defeat my Carry army. your entire army. Yeah. There we go. Um, good. Well, I guess next time we're back, we'll probably be discussing um, how we're getting on the miniatures yeah. um i'm keen because i've i've opened i've i've bought some boxes um and anyone yeah. who's thinking about getting to legion uh you mm. should get the um what's it called the the box um, essential essentials, essentials box kit. make sure you get the essentials kit if you're in the uk um don't make the mistake we made which is thinking the essentials <laughs> kit. doesn't uh, include doesn't include dice and the measuring sticks. <laughs> Basically, the uh, the website in the UK, which Legion is cheapest on, didn't r properly write down what was included in the essential on their website. Yeah. So we didn't realize that it had dice and the measuring sticks in, which makes it super good value. Yeah. Seventeen pounds, you get all the cards. You get the cards for skirmish. You get measuring stick. You get dice. So I now own a lot of dice because I also bought <laughs> regular dice. <laughs> a dice ball. It does yep. mean I won't have to re-roll anything. I've got enough dice. True. But I can just roll mm. dice. Use dice about re-roll, which is uh, useful. For sure. But would, would it be nice if they labeled that? So get the essentials. <laughs> um, but I am looking forward to building them and seeing how they compare to uh, models that we have built before. How good yep. quality they are, and what yep. we think when we get around to painting them. Mm. Um, so we will be back in some time, and Mayor will be with us, and he can chip in with his actual expertise. Having played the game, what a nerd playing the game <laughs> before making a video. Before we did, <laughs> yeah. What a nerd. There we go. Um, good. Well, I don't know when this is going to go out. No. Probably but, in about 15 minutes. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> oh, you've been watching the Hobby Breakfast Show in the cantina. Um, yeah. Uh, OT, any, any final thoughts? Like and subscribe. Oh, I thought you were going to make like a Star Wars joke reference. No. No. Just shameless shilling. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, it always yeah. takes priority it always takes priority um, we'll be back bye everyone <laughs>